Hello students and welcome back in the third assignment of biology for class 7th. In this assignment, I am going to teach you about the colon chyma tissue. But before I start with the colon chyma tissue, we will take a quick recap what we have studied up till now. So we are studying about the plant tissues and this plant tissue is of two types. One is permanent tissue and the other one is meristematic tissues. Meristematic tissues, this we have already studied in the first assignment that this type of tissue can divide easily. Now we are studying about the permanent tissues and the permanent tissues are kind of a tissue that cannot divide. Now this permanent tissue is again of two types, one is simple tissues and the other one is complex tissues. Now the simple tissues is a kind of tissue which is made up of single type of cell and the complex tissue is a kind of tissue which is made up of different types of cells. Now here we are studying about the simple tissues and in the second assignment we have studied about one of the type of a simple tissue that is parenchyma tissue. Now this parenchyma tissue is responsible for making the whole plant and it is especially present in herbs, flowers and fruits. Then now we are going to study about the second type of tissue and that is colonchyma tissue. So we see what is colonchyma tissue. Now this colonchyma tissue, the cells of this tissue are living. They are thick at the corners. And the second thing about colonchyma tissue is that there are no intercellular spaces between the cells as you can see in the picture that the cells of this tissue they are the living cells and they are thick at the corners and there are no intercellular spaces between these cells now to understand this colon chyma tissue we take an example of a ice cream cone now what if we bend the cone the cone will break isn't it yes now compare the same situation to the young plants such as grasses for example we have all seen what happened to them during the strong winds. Now what happened to them is they tend to bend thus lowering the possibility of breaking. This important flexibility is possible due to the presence of another type of simple permanent tissue called colonchyma tissue. Now the functions of colonchyma tissues, it provides mechanical support and elasticity to the part in which it is found. So you have understood that what is the function of colonchyma tissue? It provides the elasticity and flexibility to the plant so that they do not break during the strong winds. And second function is it allows easy bending in various parts of a plant without actually breaking it. So these are the few functions of colonchyma tissue. Now we see the location of colonchyma tissue. The cells of colonchyma are located below the epidermis of dicotyledonous stem. You know what are dicotyledonous plants? The one having the two cotyledons are known as dicotyledonous plants. So this colonchyma tissue is present below the epidermis of dicotyledonous stem, midrib of dicot leaves and in the leaf stalk. Now on the basis of this assignment, I am going to ask few questions from you and the questions are First is define colonchyma tissue. Second question is write any two functions of colonchyma tissue. Third is write the location of colonchyma tissue. Now few fill in the blanks are there. The cells of this tissue are dash. Second it gives mechanical support and dash to the part in which it is found. Third they tend to bend thus lowering the possibility of 
dash so you have to write these questions and answers in your copies now for the uh, soon i'll upload the next assignment for you till then stay safe and stay at home thank you